Good morning. Welcome to greeting time. You should have just finished your story time at home. And now we're going to move our clip from story time to greeting time. So everyone stand up and get ready for our good morning song. Ready? Hello, neighbor. What do you say? It's going to be a happy day. Greet your neighbor. Boogie on down. Give a bump and turn around. One more time. Hello, neighbor. What do you say? It's going to be a happy day. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down, give a bump, and please sit down. Good morning. Welcome to Greeting Board. Let's see what we have on Greeting Board today. <gasps> Message number one is covered up with the number one. And if you need to double check, you can check the dots and count. One. That's right. Message number one. Now our greeting, our greeting time is to tell us about changes in our day. And the change that we have in our day is Miss Alvarado will not be reading at three o'clock today. Today, Miss Alvarado will be reading at 2.30. That's right. At 2.30. We moved up our meeting 30 minutes for today because Ms. Hernandez, Ms. Martinez, and I all have to be in a meeting at 3 o'clock. And so we wanted to still meet with you live and read a book. But we'll see you at 2.30 today. So we finished reading message number one. And we'll go back down and read message number two. Message number two is covered with the number two. That's right. And if you need to double check, you can count the dots. One, two, so this is the number two. So message number two today is about our sign-in sheets. When we come in the morning to sign in, you will find your name on the sign-in sheet and then write your name next to it. So I'm gonna show you how I, I'm doing that here at home. I'm gonna start with my capital letter A so I have an uppercase capital A, and I have a lowercase L, I pull it straight down. I have a V, it's a diagonal down and a diagonal up. A lowercase A, circles around and a little tail. R comes down, up and around. Another lowercase A, circle around, a little tail down. The lowercase D has a line, down and a curve around and then O circles right around and that says Alvarado and I noticed in my name Alvarado I have a lot of straight lines and I have a lot of curves I wonder how many straight lines and curves you have in your name um, parents here's a tip um, I use the expo because I'm using a dry erase board but on these laminated sheets that we that I sent home with you, the best thing to use is a marker, a Crayola marker. Have them write their name, and then when they're done, they're able to use a tissue and it wipes right off. If for some reason you've already been doing it and you've been using the Expo markers and it's left smudges or lines that won't come off, you can use a little tab, a dab of fingernail polish remover, and that helps remove it and then you can start using the Crayola marker